When you think about it, though, it's not, I don't, and I think you've written about this and said this before, it, it's not, I don't expect it to be a big name. Um, it might be a young guy, it might be a past, what, what's kind of the profile of what you think they may look for to fill out that room if they, if they add somebody? Well, again, it's not going to be a Delvin Cook. It's not going to be a, an Ezekiel Elliott. That's not what they're going for. But what they want is sort of a, maybe a younger guy or maybe a veteran that's been around for a few years, but someone that can come in and spell Nick Chubb and Jerome Ford in the event that they need somebody to go out there and churn out 80 yards for them. That's what they had in Dearness Johnson. So they would be looking for somebody like that but somebody that comes at a price point that's not going to really make too much of an impact on your salary cap. They need, uh, you know, sort of a cheaper version of maybe a Dearness Johnson. So that's what they will be looking for. And again, when you're running behind this offensive line, I don't think it's all that difficult to find somebody who can get some yards for you. Um, they used Elijah Moore in, in the backfield a little bit. Could you see that, and, and I don't mean as a running back, could, but kind of like a Debo Samuel where you throw him back there and, and see what, uh, what the defense does? Yeah, I mean, we saw some of that in, in minicamp, and I'm sure we're going to see some more of that in training camp. He's got the versatility to do those kinds of things. They're excited to try those kinds of things with him. And, uh, you know, I, I think that just opens up all different kinds of things for the offense when you have a player like that. Of course, this year they also have some vertical speed to go with that uh, in Marquise Goodwin. So you get those couple of guys on the field and the possibilities start to be endless.